Everyone is preparing for game day, whether you're having a party at home or you're ordering from Mark's Pizzeria. And if you're one of those who is making your own food, after you see this, you might change your mind. When it comes to the Super Bowl, there are the teams. The Giants and the Patriots. The Giants and the, the Patriots, probably one of the best Super Bowls of all time. The fans. I wanted the Niners to be in, to tell you the truth. Okay, the super fans. I'm pulling for the Giants because I'm a fan of anybody who's playing the Patriots. The infamous commercials. And then there's... Close to a thousand pounds of wings. The food. Hundreds of pizzas. And more food. <laughs> Pat, you're getting a workout. And some more. I wouldn't want to be a chicken this week. Here at Mark's Pizzeria in Parenton, they are stocked and ready to go for Sunday. Mild, medium, hot, and buffalo, sweet and sour, teriyaki. Today, two tractor trailers full of wings made their way into all 46 Mark's Pizzerias. Super Bowl is the busiest day of the year. For Patrick Calaboke, Super Bowl is not just about the game. It's about being here and serving you. It's almost like your birthday. You know, it's a day where you're, you're looking out, you're excited. It can be emotional. I think of being really busy and working my butt off. But owner Mark Crane isn't just emotional about that big game. He's emotional about this, an article that just came out in the Rochester Business Journal. I'm really proud that they did this. It's been 30 years in business, and I'm really excited. 30 years filling your stomach on game day. If you set food down on the table, the wings are kind of where everybody gathered to. So even when the pizza and wings run out on Sunday. And they'll all disappear in about two hours. Mark knows you'll keep coming back. The atmosphere is going to be high intensity rock and roll. And I'm told Mark's Pizzeria has already start, started taking pre-orders for the Super Bowl, so if you want to get yours in, you better hurry. The store in Parrington, where we were, is also planning on having their own viewing party, and I've been told that will be a pretty good time as well. All right, Christine Van Timmeren with our story tonight.